But as I said, Hamza has has been nominated by the Scottish Parliament from among the members of the Parliament to be the First Minister of the Scottish Government. Now therefore, we, in accordance with the provision of Section 45, Subsection 1 of the Scotland Act 1980, 1998, hereby appoint the said Hamza Harun Yusuf to the office of the First Minister of the Scottish Government during our pleasure. And we ordain this warrant to be extended in the most useful and best form and to pass under the seal appointed by the Treaty of the Union to be kept and made use of in Scotland in place of the Great Seal of Scotland. And for doing whereof, these presents shall be sufficient warrant to the Keeper of the Registers of Scotland for writing the same in the Register of the Great Seal and to the Keeper of the said seal for causing the same to be appended thereto. Given at our court, St James, this 20th day of March 2023, in the first year of our reign, by His Majesty's command. Mr. Mr. Yusuf, uh, will you now take the oaths of office? There are three of them. First, the official oath. You swear that you will well and truly serve His Majesty King Charles in the office of First Minister of the Scottish Government. And now, in relation to the Keeper of the Seal. You swear that you will well and truly serve His Majesty King Charles in the office of Keeper of the Scottish Seal. And the third, the Oath of Allegiance. You swear that you will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles, his heirs and successors, according to law. Will you now sign the parchments? First Minister, on behalf of the Court, I take this opportunity to congratulate you on your election by the Parliament as First Minister of the Scottish Government. The position of First Minister is one of the great offices of state. It is a great honour to hold that office, but it carries with it many arduous responsibilities. Uh, you said yesterday that you would stand up unequivocally for the Scottish Parliament and against any attempts to undermine devolution. The courts, too, will continue to do their best to uphold the institutions of both government and parliament. In turn, it is the duty of the First Minister to uphold the independence of the judiciary and the legal system and professions generally. 
Although judicial decisions must, of course, be subject to public scrutiny, a successful democratic system can only survive if it is governed by the rule of law. It can only exist if the government affords adequate protection to the judiciary from unwarranted attack so that they can make their decisions as the judicial oath requires without fear or favour, affection or ill will. You also mentioned yesterday that Scotland would continue to be a positive progressive voice on the world stage. That too involves ensuring the prominence of the rule of law as the principal protection for the individual against oppression of all kinds. In carrying out your pledge to work ambitiously for the Scotland of the future, we will work together, as we have done in the past, to improve upon our existing systems of civil, administrative and criminal justice. There are many projects currently under consideration. Despite the burdens of office, I hope that your, your new role will give you great pleasure and fulfilment. The court will now adjourn.